and Air Valencia is having a fantastic season, and the Ecuadorian currently tops the goal scorer list in Turkey. The 33-year-old had a wonderful World Cup in Qatar, and he's famously known for his good but strange career path. Why did Premier League clubs like West Ham and Everton go for him? Why was he once chased by the police while injured during an Ecuador match? Join me as we uncover the untold story of Aner Valencia, the striker who made a name for himself in the World Cups. From Ecuador to England Aner Valencia was born in the coastal city of San Lorenzo. The footballer came from a poor family, and when he arrived at his first professional club, Emelec, he had no money for housing and limited funds to buy food. However, that did not stop Valencia, who rose through the academy ranks of Emelec after joining from his boyhood club, Caribe Jr., in 2008. The 33-year-old started getting chances in the first team under the well-known manager, Jorge Sampoli, and despite the Argentine leaving the club, Valencia continued to impress at Emelec. They also won their first league trophy in over 10 years in his last season. Valencia continued his journey to Pachuca in Mexico in the January window of 2014, but he only stayed at the club for half a season. He became the top scorer in the league and scored six goals in the playoff rounds, but ultimately lost in the final of the competition. In June 2014, Valencia was named in Ecuador's World Cup squad for the tournament in Brazil. The forward scored three goals in three appearances, but couldn't help his country advance to the group stage. However, Valencia's future was saved when West Ham wanted his signature after the tournament. The Premier League club paid £12 million for the striker's services. The Difficult Years Aner Valencia has since admitted to having limited knowledge of West Ham before his arrival. His main source of information came from the hooligan movie Green Street. I respected the fact that they are very passionate supporters, and when I found out I was coming here, I didn't know what to expect. In his first season at Berlin Ground, he produced eight goal contributions in 32 games in the Premier League. West Ham ended up in 12th place, with Valencia playing an important role in the squad. He's best known for his debut goal against Hull in the fall, with a long shot reaching 98 km per hour in speed. His playing time in the next season was more limited, with only 19 games in the league. The 33-year-old was under heavy competition from the likes of Andy Carroll and Diafra Seco. After the season, Valencia went to Everton to fight for more minutes in the Premier League. The season didn't go as planned for the striker, who only played 918 minutes in the league. During his season at Goodison Park, he also had trouble with Ecuador. While on international duty, he faked an injury to avoid arrest during a game. Valencia reportedly had unpaid child support claims, and the police were ready to take him into custody. However, the Ecuadorian drove away from the stadium in an ambulance with the police in pursuit. The arrest warrant was later revoked. The Strength and Star In the summer of 2017, he returned to Mexico to revitalize his career. Valencia spent the next three years at Titus, where he won two league titles, and a CONCACAF Champions League title. He left the club with 34 goals and 14 assists in 118 games. His time on the pitch was good, but outside of football, the 33-year-old's life was more turbulent. In August of 2020, his sister Erchi was taken hostage in his birth city, San Lorenzo. She spent 10 days with her captors before being released the same day Valencia was announced as a Fenerbahce player in Turkey. I don't have words to express everything that I feel today. It's one of the happiest days of my life, a day full of emotions and conflicting feelings. Valencia said about his sister being rescued. In his first two seasons at Fenerbahce, he scored a total of 26 goals in 68 games, but the Ecuadorian had to wait until this season to show his true potential. In November of last year, he became historic, scoring the first goals of the World Cup in Qatar. He ended up with three goals in three matches, but again couldn't send his team to the group stage. However, he was praised for his performances on a promising Ecuador team. As we speak, Valencia scored 25 goals in the league for Fenerbahce, and they sit in second place, just four points behind rivals Galatasaray. Despite never being rated as a world-class player, how big of an impact has Valencia had on the footballing world? The Ecuadorian's never been a big success in Europe, but can he lead Fenerbahce to their first league trophy in nine years? Only time will tell for the hard-working striker from the coast of Ecuador. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure to follow and subscribe for future videos from Untold Football. Do you have any ideas for an untold or interesting story in the footballing world? Please leave a comment after the video. We are here for the untold football stories.